And now we have uh, some properties to go through with multiplication of matrices. And again, these are uh, the same as multiplying with real numbers. Uh, you have the associative property telling us it doesn't matter which order you multiply. You can multiply A times B and then multiply that product by C. Or you can multiply B times C and multiply that product by A. You'll get the same matrix. You can also use the distributive property. You can add the matrices B plus C and then add multiply the sum of that times A. Or you can multiply A times B and A times C and add those two matrices together. Now notice that we do not have the commutative property. It does matter if we multiply A times B or B times A. We would get two different matrices there. So the commutative property does not apply. Uh, and then the last property is the identity matrix. This uh, is equivalent to the multiplicative um, identity of multiplication. Um, and this is when you have uh, a bunch of zeros and a bunch of ones. Um, and we'll see in this example that we'll get the same matrix when we multiply matrix A times our identity. So we'll start out with matrix A and we will need to multiply it by our identity matrix. Matrix A is a three by three. So our identity matrix will also need to be three by three. And we know it consists of ones and zeros, one starting out in the top with zeros and the remaining entries in that row. And then the second row, the one will be in the middle with zeros on either side. And then in the third row, we'll have zero, zero, one. And let's see what happens when we multiply that. Uh, when we multiply, remember we're multiplying the first row times the first column. One times one is one. Three times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. And so when we add one plus zero plus zero, we still get one. And if we repeat this process with the first row and second column, we'll see that we'll get the answer of three as well. One times zero is zero. Three times one is three. One times zero is zero, giving us three. And then multiplying the first row times the third column, one times zero is zero. 3 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. And we'll see what we get in the first row. We've got 1, 3, 1, which is the same as the first row in the matrix A. And this would be true if we went through the process of multiplying the second row times the first column, second row times the second column, and so on. But we'll see that we get the same exact uh, matrix. The remaining entries would be the exact same, negative 4, 3, and 2, 1, 0, and 1. So anytime we multiply by this identity matrix, which consists of zeros and ones, we will get the same matrix that we started.